What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to get call recording on your Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now if you live in certain regions, call recording is already enabled, um, but there are other regions like here in the US where recording calls without the other party's consent is actually legal, so Samsung doesn't include the native call recording feature in the phone application. So if you live in a country like that, the option that you have are to download an app that will do this, and today I'm gonna to show you guys what I think is the best app and some of the functionality that the app has, how to use it, and uh, we'll do a little test call with it as well. So very simply, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The application itself is called ACR Call Recorder. So if you go into the Play Store and you type in at the top ACR Call Recorder or Cube Call Recorder, whichever one you want to choose, this is an ad because it's actually the most popular one, I would say, overall. But if you tap on Cube ACR Call Recorder, then you'll go ahead and see it right there as well. So if you do that, you'll notice that this application is free, but it does have uh, ads in the app if you don't pay for the uh, premium version. And I did pay for the premium version to uh, make this video, but also because I actually do use the premium version as well. So it's something I wanna show you guys kind of all the features, but I also do think it is worth it if you want a great robust call recorder. So when you download the app, you hit open, it's gonna break you to this screen right here. You have to agree to their terms of service. And of course, you're gonna to have to enable quite a few permissions because you are doing a call recording app. It's gonna to have to have access to your contacts, to your calls, things like that. So if you hit next, it's gonna tell you all the permissions it needs, storage, microphone, phone, contacts. These are all pretty reasonable permissions for a call recording app. You should always be suspicious if an app asks for permissions that it doesn't seem like it should need. But in this case, they all seem pretty reasonable. Of course, you should read the privacy policy yourself just to make sure that you also understand kind of how they're using the data. Now you also need to enable the app connector. The app connector is an accessibility feature that allows Cube ACR to actually interface with the phone and then uh, basically record calls. So it allows it to do it. It gives it the permission at the Android level. So when you enable app connector, what you've got to do is go here to accessibility. It'll take you right away. You're going to go to installed apps. You're going to go to Cube ACR app connector. You're gonna go here, you're gonna go ahead and turn that on. It's gonna tell you what it can do. These are required in order for it to actually record calls in the phone app. You're gonna tap allow. When you go back, you can then also uh, opportunity for it to send you notifications, which you are gonna want that because you're gonna want the notification that the call is being recorded. Um, next, if you want to get reliable usage out of this app, uh, you wanna turn off the battery optimization for it because otherwise, uh, you might not get the option to record calls. This app might not work properly. So if you click got it, allow, it'll return off the optimization. I've never noticed this app draining a ton of battery. Of course, unless you're recording calls that are like, you know, I don't know, an hour or more multiple times a day. And then geotagging allows it to tag your location by where you are uh, so you can see where those calls were made. Now, I don't really care about this and I don't want to give them more access to all my locations. So I say no thank you to that. You can return it on later in the settings though if you find this useful. So now you can make your first call. Now this doesn't only work with the built-in phone application from Samsung, this also works with a messenger application. So you can also use it with Facebook. Of course, we all know Facebook can use to be placed to call, all those kinds of things. You can use it for all of those purposes as well. Uh, and it does work very well for those as well, but I'm gonna focus mainly on the phone. So if you go to the phone, I actually have a number preloaded here. I think this is UPS customer service, just because I wanna show you guys a test call. This is how it's gonna work straight out of the box if you don't modify any of the settings. Then we'll talk about some of the settings here in a second. So if we place the call, you'll notice up here in the very top, you're gonna to see this pop up right there. It shows you Cube ACR is recording, it's in progress. If you go to the drop down, you can see here, uh, you can stop it or you can choose to record manually for this particular caller. I'll show you guys how to turn off the automatic call recording in a second. You can choose to do it uh, on a per app or per call basis as well, but this is the default. So if I hang up the call, it's gonna end it for Cube ACR. And then when I go back into the application, then I can find my recording itself. So if we go back in here, Cube ACR, made our first call, right? It says play it back to test the quality. If you can't hear it, go to the settings and try a different phone recording audio source. Uh, on the S23 Ultra, the default works pretty well, but I'll go ahead and play back the call here for you. Cube ACR is recording, it's in progress. If you do the drop down, you can see here, uh, you can stop it or you can choose to record manually for this particular caller. 
Now, of course, keep in mind that the quality isn't gonna necessarily be the best in the world because it isn't a native call recorder. Obviously, if you have the built-in call recorder that Samsung offers, uh, which comes with a lot of those devices in the other countries I mentioned that don't have laws against recording other parties without them knowing, uh, it's gonna be a little better, but this one's still quite good. From here, you can star this and so make it your fav a favorite conversation. You can select the number, comment, share, delete. So you can share this you know, within other apps from the share menu. Now, up here, you can see that you can also do some backup and storage stuff. I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. But let's go through the other importing settings. Some of these are premium settings, because as I said, I did pay for the premium just to show you guys all the things that you can do. So if you go into recordings, uh, you can choose to have auto recording on or not. So that's up here at the top, auto start recording. You can exclude callers, so like your significant other, like I would excuse, exclude my wife, because I, I mean, unless you really wanted to, to mess with them later, you know, if they say, oh, I didn't say that, well, you could play back the call, but probably not a good idea. I wouldn't want to risk it. Uh, you could skip Bluetooth headset calls, uh, this is the phone recording audio source right here um, and the uh, voice over IP. You do wanna make sure you have Wi-Fi calling off for this app because it doesn't work properly in my experience over Wi-Fi calling. So make sure you keep that in mind. You can also do phone call clarity improvement, but this will also increase the background noise. I recommend leaving it at the default uh, and maximize in-call volume. Now you can see in here the different services that you can record, like I mentioned, Facebook Messenger, also WhatsApp and things like that if you use those. WhatsApp's not very popular here in the US, so I don't really use it. Uh, usually when I download this app the first time, you can also choose the file format. I choose MPEG-4, um, just this nice balance of quality and file size. That'll give you a little bit better quality than the default as well. Uh, if we go back here to the next setting, which is backup in storage, one thing I usually like to do is to turn on my Google Drive backup. You can also do Dropbox, OneDrive, OneConnect, um, file transfer protocol, email. There's tons of stuff you can do. You can choose to auto backup over cellular or not. And if you want to free up some space, you can choose delete after back, um, backup. So this will delete it from the uh, physical storage on your S23 Ultra after you upload it to the cloud. I'll probably turn on Google Drive so I can do that very simply. If you do turn on Google Drive, I'll show you guys really quick, uh, you can choose to backup only start recordings, separate recordings by date. So I could backup only start recordings. Of course, I did start that first recording, so it's gonna automatically start backing up the one that I just made to the UPS. And down here, you can do current path. You can change where this is actually uh, stored, stored on your physical device. Uh, it's stored in the documents folder. So if you navigate there using your file manager, you'll be able to find it. And you can change it so that if you have short calls, like someone just calls, you answer, you pick up, and they hang up right away, uh, you can save only calls that are longer than, say, 15 seconds. That'll make sure you don't get anything that is you know, not that interesting that you're not gonna wanna look back on later. So that way, if it's a call that's just too short, you just get rid of it right away. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, and then the last one, some miscellaneous settings, actually one of them that's the most important, in my particular opinion, uh, is the recording controls mode. So up here at the very top, you can choose either the notification, which I showed you guys in the shade, or you can do widget permission. Um, this does require overlay permission. So if you tap on it, you've gotta go to enable overlay and then when you do that down here, you'll have to tap on this permission. This is gonna allow you to get a little widget pop-up when you're in the call that you can control some of the settings. And also, if you don't want to have the automatic call recording on, it'll allow you to manually start the recording up there. Um, you can also stop the recording prematurely if you only wanna clip part of the call and not do all of it. You can also enable post-call actions, which will give you a pop-up right away to comment on it. Um, there's also a really cool feature where you can shake your phone. I'm not going to do that right now because it's going to shake the camera, but I'll show you guys a quick test call again uh, where the widget pops up. You can shake your phone and that'll mark a spot in the conversation. So if someone's talking about something really important, you want to come back to that later in the conversation, you can shake your phone and it'll mark that later in the recording for you to revisit. So now if I go in here, call back UPS, it's going to give me this pop-up. You guys can see it right there. There's the pop-up right there. So yeah. you can see right there, the pop-up right there, I can go ahead and choose to stop the recording anytime I want. I can also choose in the future not to record for this particular person. So if I go here, for instance, now it's going to stop the recording instantaneously. And up there, it'll kind of show you, you know, you can turn it on or off in that menu. And now when you do this, you close the call. Now, because I chose the quick actions, it should give me some actions that I could then present and share with those at the very end of the call. You saw that I stopped the call 
uh, early, but if you finish the call out to the end, it'll present you with those options that you can use uh, to actually get uh, share or, or mark up things like that, the enable post call action. Um, you also saw that because I stopped the call with less than 15 seconds, it didn't save that call. So it didn't upload to my Google Drive because I chose the option to only include and store calls that are over that certain length. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, uh, hit the notification icon. Actually, that one was 24 seconds, so it should have saved it. Let's take a look real quick. Oh, there we go. There we go. I saw the Google Drive icon. I thought it was under 15 seconds, but it was not. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. I'll drop the link below to Call Recorder Cube ACR. Remember, it is important in the US to remember that if you record a call, you're supposed to let the other person know, or technically it's against the law in most US states. So just keep that in mind as you're using this. Appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.